ゃあ。Boy, what do we have here? Oh God, what the fuck? Oh, great, great start. What the? Welcome to the museum of anything goes. A 1995 MS DOS game created oh, by yeah. Michael Markowski. Instantly, already so much creepier off the rip than the other ones because this was actually like an older game. Sorry for the trauma. It's okay. This is extremely interesting. I'm loving this. It's just like, this is so weird. And Maxwell Robertson. The game's the epitome of the creepy, <gasps> surreal 90s entertainment. So this, game. okay, so this is like the, the what the clips at the start of this video were from. I'm excited because I wanted I wanted to know what those were from. In the same vein of Super Solvers and Roly Polies, no Nanakorobi Yoki. Oh yeah, classics. I briefly mentioned it back in the Drown God video, and you all seem to take great interest. What in is it. that, dude? Ew. Okay, we have to watch that one at some point too. So I found it fitting to talk about, not only because of that but because it became somewhat of an urban legend itself just a few years ago. The premise of the game is simple, but at the same time, incredibly complex. By calling itself the Museum of Anything Goes, that notion is taken into overdrive as we experience uncanniness and unexplainable peculiarity around every corner. Dude. Um... The basic premise involves the idea that you're dropped off oh, in a is, strange museum. This is that no context or storyline as to why. Oh my god, this is so weird. The back of the game box is incredibly vague too, stating that you're at a museum unlike any you've ever seen. This you know, remi okay, this reminds me of like those uh so people that were like born in the 90s and shit like in school. There were like what was the what was the actual I don't remember what it was called. They were like these really weird old Hold on. I got to figure this out real quick. Uh, 90s, uh, museum school videos? What was it? What would it have been called? I don't know what to search for it. But they were like, they were in a museum that looked like this. And it, it would just like, there would be an actual person like standing in front of the green screened weird ass trippy museum. And then they would like walk up to like a picture and a fucking dinosaur would come out of it. And then they'd say, well, let's learn about dinosaurs and go in there. And then the next video, whenever your class, your teacher didn't want to do anything on a fucking Wednesday afternoon, they were like, here, watch this. And then you'd learn about fucking sedimentary rocks or something. I don't know. It reminds me of that. There are no guards, no rules, no limits. Become a part of the imagery and experience the thrill of this unbelievable interactive museum. Uh... To be honest, I don't exactly think there's any sort of end goal with the museum of anything goes. It seems to be one of the earlier choose your own adventure games that were made. And because of that, it's got a pretty substantial replay value. You can quite literally just explore to your heart's content, traversing the liminal hallways and interacting with whatever piques your interest. How is there this, like, how, I wonder how big this game is. Four. Okay, what the fuck? Three. This is fucking so weird, dude. <clears throat> you know, there's something special about this game. There sure is, man. I feel like it's all unintentional. Everything is rigid, out of place, and painstakingly dead. Sure, there are people in these rooms, but I have strangely never felt more alone. I can't really explain corny. it, 
I know what he means. That's that what was makes funny. this game so unintentionally haunting. I don't know that it was unintentional. That's what, like, I mean, like it could just be because it was made in '95, but like, it's obviously really weird and all over the place. Discord, American TV series, not this, not this. Uh, educational series. Was it British? Is it '94? So, oh boy. So if this was released in 94, this show was released in 94, this game is from 95. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is like a conclusive result or anything, but like, I feel like this could have been inspired by that. It's a product of the 90s and in damn sure shows. Okay, I, that, what timing? But while I could talk about this game all day, we're actually here for something specific. Oh God! Okay. A oh. Very little mystery that was birthed from someone that you just might have heard of. Oh no! What? The Museum of Anything Goes. Vinesauce Vinny. I know that name, but I don't know who the fuck it is. I've heard it. Who's Vinesauce Vinny? Is it a YouTuber? And this is some hot garbage for you. Here on this Sunday, on this Sunday stream. You're going to love it. I'm running it in a virtual um, OS. Ooh. So for your pleasure. For your pleasure. Wait, for your pleasure. Uh -huh. So are they going to play this game right this now? This is Vinny Vinesauce, a video game streamer that's been active for the better part of the past decade. Okay, I know the name. Back in 2016, he created a mini series where he played through various 1990s entertainment games, and they all gathered a pretty substantial amount of views. The Museum of Anything Goes episode, though, stood out among the others, not just because of the game itself, but because within it, he encountered something disturbing. Um, deprived me of my emotions. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh God, guys. Oh God. Okay. All right. We can do this. We can do. This. Whatever you do, don't click the grave. You'll be sorry. What, a spooky skeleton? No. Oh my god, that's a dead body. Get me out. The fuck is this shit? On this stream, in front of thousands of viewers, the game presented what he thought to be a dead body. So that was blurred out. So what he actually saw was something way worse, obviously, but it's still just the audio from that alone was enough to make me fucking terrified. Oh my god. The hair on my arm is that belief to him erect. Was so strong that his stream archive from that night is still censored. Oh my god. To this very day. So what happened there? Within the Museum of Anything Goes, there's a section where you can interact with this specific painting that looks like it's meant to represent a portal to heaven. <sighs> the game asks you to click a button. I'm, to I'm so bad with creepy shit, but this is the kind that I enjoy. Someone fall out of the sky. And if you do, you observe the following. The game then guilts you. Now look what you've done. You must now attend his funeral. What? But first, you must dig a grave. What in the goddamn fuck? And the scenes that follow involve us doing exactly that. Interestingly, when this casket's in the ground, the game warns us. Whatever you do. I oh my god, I I can't I have to pay I have to uh, I have to brace myself again. Don't click on the grave. You'll be sorry. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, it seems to be setting up the idea that within this coffin is a human being. The one we had fall out of the sky. With this notion in mind, I don't fault anyone for believing that the next scene is indeed a dead body. Is he going to show it? Oh God, I have to... I don't feel like he's gonna show it if it got banned on if it got 
censored on Twitch. Oh god, dude. Dude. What the goddamn hell? I'm gonna be sick. I my I'm I, my eyes are watering right now. Oh my god! Before us appears to be a butcher. That is so fucking creepy, like dude. And in the foreground is a trash can. In this scene, he proceeds to pick this object up and place it in that machine. And I'm sure you're picking up where I'm going with this. Unfortunately, I'm yeah. I'm really thinking that's a pig carcass and not a human corpse like Vinny initially thought. At a certain point in this video, we're able to freeze on a frame that shows its lower abdomen and rear legs, and it heavily resembles exactly that. This, of course, is just a theory. Even if it is, it's fucking weird, man. Even if that's just a pig carcass, this is weird as shit. That does not make this any less creepy to me. Pretty much impossible. Maybe less illegal, but... Your old source video down. But I think it makes the most sense. Sure. Okay. Now, now wow. Well, that's oh, we're good. We're good. Oh, we, we, we cleared it up. No more mystery. Kidding. I once again don't fault anyone for believing it to be a dead body in the first place. The game seemed to do everything it possibly could to set up the premise that what you're seeing is a human corpse. What's up, Kato? However, you got a song if you stuck in head, back dude? and really look at it. You'll realize that it's nothing more but an early age jump scare. I guess, but like, dude. Do I think it's in bad taste? Yes. Yeah, a little Horribly. bit. Horribly. And this game toys with the idea of death in other areas, too. It's so buried in this weird-ass game that makes it, like, I don't know. Voidwalker by Jake Hill? I don't think I've ever heard that. All in all, this game is still incredibly eerie. Yeah, it sure is. Blending fiction with reality, implementing incredibly rigid animation and voiceovers, and having this strange ambience throughout your entire adventure effectively solidifies this experience as one that'll stick with you. Just watching this the will. The sentiment you get when playing this is uneasiness. And pressing through the abstract nonsense that's thrown at you around every corner really makes this game stay true to its name. This museum is haunting. <laughs> That was fucking weird as shit and very interesting to you. Holy crap. I love this channel already. <laughs> Why well, you play Chanel?